The Adyar Gate, the iconic hotel at Chamias Road, is a four and a half acre property close to the boat club. This boasts about 287 guest rooms as of today and has five restaurants, namely the Residency, which is an international cuisine restaurant in Edwardian era setting, the Cappuccino, which is a 24 hour international coffee shop located at the lobby level overlooking the poolside, the Westminster Bar, which is again located at the lobby level, On the Rocks, which is an international cuisine restaurant, then my most favorite, the Dakshin, which is an authentic South Indian cuisine restaurant. The Gatsby 2000, which is a themed discotheque club that can accommodate about 600 people at a time, and Connections, a high tea lounge. Over 40 years, this hotel has always been the first choice in Chennai for press meets, government events, private events and other celebrations alike. Another, I have a lot of uh, nostalgia, I've seen the swimming pool slowly take shape and many of my life's important moments have also happened. Particularly, the hotel has been host to the Chennai Super Kings for years together. Each IPL season would be a festival of its own for this hotel, with interiors completely adorned in CSK's themes and colors. Dhoni even has his favorite room always ready whenever he visits here. Now what happened to it? The property went into profitability issues and huge arrears in property taxes that need to be paid. The corporation had actually announced this by means of a drumbeat outside the premises once. The Crown Plaza Hotel since has got acquired and will be replaced by the twin towers of luxury apartments according to the Bashim Group, a realtor. It's noteworthy that two years ago, Seabross, another prominent realtor, was set to acquire and develop the property into luxury residential units, but the deal fell through. The property is being sold for about 10 to 12 crores per ground, and what is expected are 130 unit apartments, priced around 30,000 per square feet, and each between 5,000 to 7,000 square feet in size, making an apartment sale price for up to 26 crores. Why are the locals reading this development with mixed emotions is because of the Adyar Gate's history. Somewhere in the 1890s, the Adyar Club was set up around this area and the entrance gate to the club was from Chamias Road and referred to as the Adyar Club Gate. In the 1960s, the mercantile bank which operated on the Adyar Gate land had developed the Garden of Adyar Gate into a set of residences for its senior officers around a European era bungalow of De Monte. Then in 1970, the bank decided to sell off one and a half acres of this property with the old bungalow on it. This was when TT Vasu, which is a scion of TTK Group, became interested. By 1981, the old bungalow had been pulled down and the work had begun. The hotel was then taken over by the Welcome Group Hotels in 1985. Much later in 1988, the Sheraton Hotels was contracted to manage the hotel and renamed it as Welcome Group Park Sheraton Hotel and Towers. Much, much later in 2015, the Intercontinental Hotel Group, IHG, assumed management and the hotel was renamed as the Crown Plaza Chennai Adyar Park. Not just others, there are so many of my own memories with the Adyar Gate. I can recollect the many times I visited Adyar Gate as a kid in the 80s and 90s with my father who used to have several meetings and conferences here. Much later and before the pandemic, I returned from the US and there was a golden period in my life and I simply used to walk up to the Adyar gate at will with my colleagues for lunch at the Dakshin or casual catching up at the cappuccino. 
more recently during the pandemic when the room tar- tariffs were slashed to about 30 to 40 percent of the original rates my family and i once spent a couple of days and enjoyed a quiet and heavily sanitized property this is about the icons or landmarks of the city that define it and why it is sometimes important for the government to intervene to retain those landmarks the demolition of a landmark like adyar gate for me was unthinkable like how giving away of hotel taj mahal would be for the mumbaikers this is the legend krish shrikanth in a movie promo who reminisces a part of his city from those days on the jagara that road irukla and the shastinagar road irukla the shastinagar road is divided between districts and city so all the new movies that used to get re- released in devi theater same day used to get released in tyagaraja theater tyagaraja jayanti so all the big movies of kamala hasan have seen in tyagaraja and jayanti only tiruvanmur but do you know that the theater that he mentioned just now no longer exists and has become a similar luxury apartment in conclusion there may be such properties struggling financially but hope they change hands between owners and are not completely destroyed from the purpose and le- retaining the iconic status if you enjoyed this episode do like and share further subscribe to my channel mr metras for future updates thanks for watching see you next time